Hi, welcome to GTEC. Let us talk about asexual and sexual reproduction in plants. Now we are going to see about the reproduction in plants. What is mean by reproduction in plants? Which is nothing but the production of new individuals or offspring in plants which can be accomplished by sexual or asexual reproduction. Here you can see the plant reproduction which is divided into sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Let us see about the sexual reproduction. The sexual reproduction it produces offspring by the fusion of gametes and resulting in offspring genetically different from the parent or parents. Here you can see the zygote. It gives the gamete by the fertilization process and here you can see the sexual reproduction over here. Now we are going to discuss about the asexual reproduction. The asexual reproduction is a natural cloning. Here the parts of the plant such as leaves or stems it produces roots and this root becoming an independent plant. You can see it here. Here the stem which produces a root and finally the root is an independent plant. That begin is over here. Let us see even more about asexual reproduction. The asexual reproduction the mostly a process of found in herbiosis and woody pioneer plants and it is typically involves in structural modification of the stem or roots and in a few species leaves. You can see it over here the asexual reproduction which is depiction and here you can see the parent plant and here the individual plant. This individual plant is from the parent plant. Let us see about the asexual production. It involves two fundamental processes that is meiosis and fertilization. In meiosis it is nothing but it rearranges the genes and reduces the number of chromosomes. You can see the meiosis process over here. Whereas the fertilization which restores the chromosomes to a complete diploid number. You can see the fertilization is here, here is the stigma and this is a tube grows down the style and enters the ovary, here is the ovary, inside the ovary the ovules is present, that is the seed is present. Here the sample representation of sexual reproduction is here, you can see the pollen that is male part and ovule that is female part. The pollen is combined to the ovule and it gives single cell that is zygote. From the zygote the multi cell is formed that is embryo which is nothing but gamut that is called seed and it forms a new individual plant. Now we are going to see about meiosis and mitosis. In meiosis, you can see it forms a sex cells that is sperm and eggs. Whereas in mitosis, it is responsible for growth, differentiation and asexual reproduction. In meiosis, the half the number of chromosomes compared to the parent cells. But here, it is genetically identical to the parent cell. In meiosis, it has a one replication and two divisions. But here it has one replication and one division. Meiosis formed four daughter cells but here it forms only two daughter cells. You can see the differences between the meiosis and mitosis over here. Now we are going to see about budding. Budding is nothing but it is a form of asexual reproduction in which a new organisms it develops from an outgrowth or bud. You can see the bud over here. 
it is due to the cell division at one particular site you can see the particular site here the parent produces a bud when the bud matures it leaves the parent by leaving a scarce tissue you can see the scarce tissue here now we are more to the topic budding where it is happens budding it happens in east hydra and coral you can see the depiction is over here the bud gets detached and develops into offspring which is identical to the parent let us see about spore formation the sporogenesis is the production of spores in biology you can see the spores which is represented in black dot it is an asexual reproduction the sporogenesis is also used to refer to the process of reproduction via spores you can see the spores in plants while the spore formation is happens the spore formation is happen in fungi green algae molds and non flowering plants that is ferns during their normal reproductive life cycle the spores are produced and each spore develops into offspring which are identical to the parent let us see about the reproduction by spores you can see the two stages over here this stage is represented by n and this stage is represented by 2n here you can see the meiosis process from the spores from there the mitosis process is carried out it forms individual gametophytes you can see it over here and it releases the gamete by fertilization process and finally the zygote is formed and this cycle is continued whereas in spores the mitosis is also formed gametes like this you can see it over here it is also used to form a zygote by the fertilization and also this cycle is continuous Now we are going to discuss about the vegetative reproduction. The vegetative reproduction, which is does not involve in seeds. Some offspring can grow from cuttings, for example, coleus and runners uh, for strawberries, tubers in potatoes. You can see the potatoes here. The tuber that is swollen root 